welcome back to the channel. Um, currently in Ricelip Rugby Club, just behind me here, uh, which is obviously not my final destination of today's video because obviously rugby being the wrong sport for this channel. But I've got a foot at Ricelip um, sort of train station and just around the corner from this ground is Wildstone. And today we're going to be watching Wildstone versus Barnet in what's being billed as a bit of a North London derby. Uh, let me know in the comments below, is Wildstone Barnet a North London derby and are you big rivals? I mean, geographically, you're not that far away. Uh, so the ground just behind me, Grove and Vale, I think it's called, holds just over 4,000, mainly terracing. I'm going to be standing with the um, home fans today. It's a very, very cold day today, blue skies, but it's about two degrees. So it's going to be very chilly, especially when the sun goes in. But looking forward to the day. So for you, for those of you who have not seen my channel before, welcome, my name is Matt the Groundhopper and I'm heading all around the UK, 160 grounds in total. This is gonna be ground number 50. So I've hit a little bit of a milestone today. And on the screen now, you will see where I've been previously and all the other grounds, all around the UK, England, Scotland, Wales. Um, yeah, so this is another new ground. I'm always excited about going to new grounds, whether they're big or small. It's another one ticked off my list. Um, National League game today, Barnet doing very well, they're second, Wildstone not so well, sort of mid-table. So I'm going to head down now towards the ground, a digital ticket, so I've already purchased it online, wander through, and let's have a look at the ground. But, should we chill on Wildstone today? It'd be nice to see a home win, because I'm going to be with the home fans, and I want to see a bit of passion, and to see if this really is a true North London derby, unlike the other one everyone talks about. This is obviously not as big, not as many fans, but it doesn't mean the passion isn't there. So I'm hoping to see a bit of passion, a bit of grit, and yeah, a few goals for the channel. Because come on, come on, Wildstone. <laughs> is that your nickname? What's the nickname for Wildstone? I don't know. Wield. Come on, you Wield. <laughs> okay, so I've got some facts. Um, your nickname's The Stones, so apologies to Wildstone fans, you're not the Wild. <laughs> um, a couple more facts, so England International, who played the World Cup, started his career at Wildstone, bonus point for guessing who it is, between 1978 and 1983, Stuart Pearce. So Stuart, play, uh, Stuart Pearce played at Wildstone for five years, and another fact is Wildstone were the first non-league club to do the non-league double which is winning the FA Trophy and the National League, which was called the Alliance Premier back then. And that was Wildstone in 1985. So that's their claim to fame as well. But they've never been a league club, even though they've won the old Alliance Premier a few times. That was pre-promotion when Scarborough got promoted back in 1987. But yeah, so here we go. This is the road now towards the ground. Literally two minutes away. Come on, you stones. I'm in the ground, it's um, it's filling up quite nicely. It's it's quite a baited ground. I don't think much changed at its ground since when Stuart Pearce played here back in the early 80s, but you've got a lot of main stands that's where the directors sit. There's some seats behind the goal, the way end where the Barnet fans are, and the rest is pretty much terracing. So it all look quite temporary stands really, but um, quite close to the pitch. I'm standing right next to the pitch here. Decent atmosphere, a lot of Barlet fans here. So I'm hoping, I'm standing right here where I've got the away fans and my home fans quite close to me. So double up the um, atmosphere and there we go. I've just kicked off now behind me. Wilson versus Barnet, come on.
going for one it sort of it went in there's like a silence for about two seconds and the fans realise it had gone in because it's the other end of the ground but yeah so Barnet fans going nutty and it's Wallstone nil Barnet one Fantastic goal and a volley like yeah, so Barney fans are going mental. Wilson equalised, it's gone on quite that end, and now the home ends all cheer. So yeah, what a great start to this game, only 15 minutes in, it's 1-1. Oh, Another goes Scotty, it's Scotty, it's Barnett, it's now Wilson 1, Barnett 2, just caught the back of that goal and um, come out of nowhere, yes, yeah, so and now 2 1 can hear the Barnett fans to the right one out. 1 2. So, an injury time now. The first half, it's 2-1 um, still to Barnet. Three goals, been a really lively first half actually. And crowd wise, I see it's about 2,000 here, it's quite busy. It's, it's pretty packed out, way around, standing room only. All the seats seem to be filled. Um, there's a small section close behind me, just behind me there, because I've actually segregated this game. But normally with non-league games, you can sort of mill around, and the home and away fans tend to um, mix together. But this one, there's quite a few police here today, so they've actually segregated this um, game off because they're rivals but yeah so decent decent game um, literally a minute from half time and it's still 2-1 you see now on the attack Barnet been on top definitely um, for most of this first half but yeah so 2-1 to Barnet we also won Barnet 2 hope you enjoyed the first half First time watching Wildstone play. I've seen Barnet three times. This being the third time. The other two times I was at home. Second half just kicked off, by the way. There we go. Um, I see um, Barnet at home a few weeks ago, and I see him like a woking back in the last season. But this sort of this ground and setup very much reminds me of, um, sort of Bournemouth, Maidenhead, similar size, similar setup. Where the, you know these grounds wouldn't look out of place in the Isthmian Premier. And this, this league is very much in two halves because you've got grounds like South End and Oldham and Rochdale, ex football league grounds, hold 10,000, and you've got grounds like this. So, but it doesn't always mean these small clubs don't go up because you've had Barrow and sort of, um, Harrogate and Sutton United get promoted in the past. But there we go, so second half underway. Um, Barnet now shooting towards their fans and, and Willstone towards their fans. So I want to stick here because I get, I get a sense of, you know, the atmosphere on both sets of fans. But there we go. And it's still Wilson 1, Barnet 2. Yes, no. Oh. did that not go in? So there's been another goal. It's now... Um, Wheelstone 2, Barnet 2, and I wasn't expecting that, because Barnet come out, second half, looking like I was up for it, but then Wheelstone have just gone up there and gone up the other end and equalised, so yeah, so it's all a play for, four goals for the channel, it's pretty cool, yes, it's now 2-2, two -two. come on!
so there's about 15 minutes left, it's still 2-2. Um, when I told a couple of friends I was coming here today to Wheelstone, they said, I'll oh, look out for the Wheelstone Raider. And, um, I haven't seen him, but if you don't know who he is, I'm sure you do, but if you don't, look him up on YouTube, Wheelstone Raider, because he's quite famous for his little, out his little rant at one of these games. But um, yeah, so still 2-2, it's absolutely freezing standard out. It's one of the coldest games I've been to for, for probably a year. Please hit that subscribe button. I'm taking him off for the team here because it is that cold. Um, really appreciate every subscription. Make sure you hit that like button and comment as well. But it's still 2 2. Here we go, look. On the attack now. Um, Barnett had a couple of chances actually. Cause I'm surprised they're not leading to be fair. Uh, got a funny feeling that Barnett might get a winner because um, they've definitely been on top last 10 minutes. But yeah, but it's still 2 2. So the attendance today is 2,515, so it's a pretty decent turnout. It's probably one of the bigger attendances of the season, I presume. Um, in the far off, I said just over 2,000, I think, out of them. So, um, yeah, decent crowd. Literally in injury time, it's still too good. Wilson has scored literally the last kick of the game. It's now Wilmstone 3, Barnet 2 in the 96th, 97th minute. But yeah, what a great hour. They, they, just, they just hit the crossbar about just literally a, a minute before that corner. But um, they deserve that right at the end. It's, um, it's been a great second half. It's been a great game. But yeah, so there we go. Uh, Wilmstone 3, Barnet 2. What a game. Woohoo! Well, there we go, full time, Wheelstone 3, Barnet 2. Players are over the corner to celebrate the fans. Like, you know, great, they're celebrating nice stuff. Good cup tie victory, but um, really great end to the, um, end to the game. I say, Wilson did hit the crossbar on a really good free kick, and they got a corner, and then they scored that winner like the 95th minute. So, really good end to this game. Um, been a very enjoyable game actually. Um, North London derby, as I say, just over 2,500 here. Um, yeah, very entertaining. Um, if you like what you see. Make sure you hit that subscribe button as I said earlier on. I really do appreciate all the subscribers that follow me and sort of comment things. I'm trying to chase down the magical 100,000 subscribers for that platinum, the platinum sort of plaque that you get. I need, I only need another 97 and a half thousand, so come on, everyone counts. But, but thank you anyway, appreciate it. I'm from a very, very cold wheelstone here. Um, thank you again, and I will see you at my next game, which will probably be next week. FA Cup tie next week, Charlton or Gillingham versus Charlton. Thanks again, and bye for now.